Well, hey there, boys and girls. Uh, now that we all have our sweet, sweet Google accounts, we can do all this inside of Drive. Now, if you feel more comfortable with Excel, uh, you've already made a graph with the, hopefully with the trend line in Excel before. Uh, you can go ahead and open your data. You can go to File, and if you go to Download as Microsoft Excel, then you can do all the normal Excel type things, which is really fun because then you can practice with either a logistic or an exponential trend line. But uh, since we have the Chromebooks, we'll look at doing it inside Google. So I'm going to show you in this video very quickly how to make this table right here. So here's the table. I'm going to delete it. There it went. No more graph. Now to make population size versus year. In Excel, you could grab these two, go to Insert Chart, and it does it perfectly. Google's still in the beta, so we're going to do, we're going to go up to Insert Chart. That's the fancy word for graphs. Now, the first thing you got to do here is select your ranges. If you hit this button, it'll make your life a lot easier because you get this little thing that you can drag around. Whatever it says there, just delete it. Oh, look, Windows wants to bother me. Hold on. Uh, don't show this message again. Sorry about that. Back to work. All right, so we've got year. Grab it. Grab all your years. Hit add another range. Click on that one. Grab your population size. Do, 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 do. There, we've grabbed all the population size. They should keep going, but good enough. Then you hit OK. Now it knows which data you want. We're going to use the row 1 as headers, which is nice. Here's the deal, though. You want to hit your charts. You've got to get yourself an XY scatter going on here. So that's in charts. You start with your data. Make sure you have that selected, which will be the default. Combine horizontally, whatever. Hit charts. Give it the old XY scatter. Yay, XY scatter. Then click over here on Customize. We'll get this all knocked down at 1. Make sure you give it a good title. Otherwise, you'll be losing some points. Legend at the right is fine. Now here, you got to pick your axes. Remember, all your axes need to have a title as well. So on the x-axis, that's a horizontal one, should have generations or years. And if you want to set them in in a max, you can, but you don't have to. Again, since it's Google, saves everything as soon as you click it. Then select your left vertical because you need to have your left vertical axis title as well, which should be population size. Size, children, size. Not population, but size. And minimum, it looks like you got 0 and 500, OK, which is what we should be going with anyway. So now that we have all that, you scroll on down, scroll on down, scroll on down. Trend line. We want to get a nice, beautiful trend line in here. Should be exponential growth. So if we hit this trend line button, look at that. It fits it almost perfectly with our exponential growth model. Click this button to show the R squared, and they'll actually show you how close your data is uh, relating to here. If you're in Excel, it'd be nice to throw the equation in there too, but it doesn't look like they give you that option just yet in Google. What else is fun? When we do logarithmic, you can hit this log scale and get all kinds of crazy, but we won't do that just yet. So that's how you do it. You hit insert. Bob's your uncle. There's a beautiful chart. To add more to it, you can go up in here, click this old girl, hit advanced edit, go back to your start, and you can add more uh, data with your select ranges. And then you could put, you know, how you have to make your two lines on the same graph. That's how you can do it. Just make sure on the second one you're picking from part B, which uh, this group hasn't started yet. So that's how you do that. Good work, children. Happy graphing.